Welcome to BBC R&D's Signal Processing Lab in London. For the past few months, we've been building a 5G standalone testbed to experiment with advanced features of the 5G system. We've built a cloud-based 5G core and a 5G cloud RAM, and we're using software-based radio technology to act as a 5G base station that off-the-shelf mobile handsets connect to. Working as part of the 5G MAG Reference Tools Initiative, We've also started developing reference implementations of 3GPP's application server and application function for 5G media streaming. And we're going to demonstrate that to you today. 5G media streaming specifies a media session handling network API that allows mobile applications to collaborate with the 5G network through a 5GMS application function with the aim of improving the quality of experience. Using this API, handsets can request a different network quality of service to satisfy the needs of a particular media streaming session. Applications can also request an estimate of the bit rates that the network can currently sustain and can request a short boost to help them replenish their buffers. Finally, the mobile handset can report both media consumption and quality of experience metrics to the 5GMS application function to help it better understand what's going on in the network. The first feature we have implemented is content hosting, where the 5GMS application server is configured to act as a CDN. To make this work, an application provider first provisions a content hosting configuration in the 5GMS application function. The application function then configures this in one or more 5GMS application servers. These act as caching web proxies back to the content origin. Finally, the application function returns service access information to the application provider, which it can pass privately to the 5G MS aware application. This includes a media entry point URL pointing to a dash MPD. In our demonstration, we simply pass this service access information to the VLC media player running on a mobile handset to kick off media streaming, and this causes it to retrieve this, the dash MPD through the 5G MS application server. Here we have got three terminals, the top one capturing the output of the application function, the middle one capturing the output of the application server, and the bottom one capturing the access logs of the application server. Let's start the application server first. And let's see the uh, capture the uh, log files of the application server. We see that the application server has started, but it hasn't yet been configured by the application function. Now let's start the application function and let's capture the logs of the application function. Here we see that there is a provisioning session that is being allocated for, uh, by the application function. Here in this demo, we, the, the application function reads the configuration from a file and it sends the configuration information back uh, to the application server, which we see that it has, it, it has been configured with. Now we see the access logs generated by the application server as it serves the content. I'm going to de demonstrate our 5G standalone test bed that we've got running in the lab here. So we have a number of pieces of equipment to look at. The first thing to see is we're running a base station here. This is a software defined base station running on this PC. That's connected to our cloud. Uh, and that's also then connected to the application function and server running in the cloud. This is also connected to this box here, which is an RF generator. So that's taking the signal from the base station, generating an RF signal. We can see on the log here, we've got a phone connected and we can see how much data we're sending to the phone. On this analyzer here, we can see the RF signal that's being generated. And we can see the downlink signal here and the uplink signal here. And then in the screen box here, we have the phone connected and we can see we're streaming BBC News Channel Live to the phone from the application server. Here in the lower window, we see the access logs of the application server showing the request from the mobile application. 